Okay, guys. I have been asked by the good folks there to share this on my social media. We have a pronoun guide from whoever the fuck G L S E N. Now, I'm assuming G is gay, L is lesbian, S E N. And there you go. So I'm going to uh, I figure out how to order these buttons. My pronouns are. Figure out how to do that. Uh, all right. This is a pronoun guide. The purpose of this guide is created to help anyone learn how to use people's correct pronouns. Yes, everyone in your community should engage in learning, educating, and advocating for the inclusive use of pronouns for all. What is your pronoun? Sancho Banza. So what are pronouns? Okay, so here we go. We have a new definition for the fucking word pronoun. According to gay, lesbian, S-E-N, pronouns are the words you may like others to use for you in place of your proper name. Some examples include she, her, or he, him, or gender neutral pronouns such as Z, here. Or they, them. Some people use specific pronouns. Some people use any fucking pronoun. And some use no pronouns at all. Here is an example of using they, them in a sentence. John is substituting for me today. And they are an incredible mathematician. Okay, so I guess John is a, he's either an identical twin with uh, Jim or he is a schizophrenic. So John is a schizophrenic. <coughs> Siamese twin substituting for me today, and they are an incredible mathematician. Using singular they pronouns have been used in the English language for centuries. So if you are still struggling with using this, remember, it takes practice. Yes, it takes practice to, uh, you know, to try to change centuries of the English language. So why focus on pronouns? You may have noticed that people are sharing their pronouns and introductions on name tags. <clears throat> And at the beginning of meetings, this gives everyone in the room the opportunity to self-identify. Instead of assuming someone's identity or which pronouns they use, including pronouns is a first step towards respecting the death of the English language and creating a more welcoming space for people of all genders. So how is this more inclusive? Pronouns can sometimes be a signifier for someone's gender identity, but not always, not always, sometimes they can fit the definition that's been the definition of the word pronoun for the past several centuries in the English language, but not always. We do not want to assume 
people's gender identity based on expression typically shown through their clothing, hairstyle, mannerisms, etc. Hmm. <clears throat> By providing an opportunity for people to share their pronouns, you are showing that you are not assuming that their gender identity is based on their appearance. So what if I don't want to share my pronouns? That's okay! Providing space and opportunity for people to share their pronouns does not mean that everyone feels comfortable or needs to share their pronouns. Some people may choose not to share their pronouns for a variety of reasons, such as they are questioning or using different pronouns because they don't know what the fuck to call themselves. They don't even know what the fuck they are anymore. They're so fucking confused, they don't know what the fuck they are, so how can they share something when they're so fucking confused in life, they don't know their own fucking pronoun? So that's one reason. How about they don't use any fucking pronouns? They don't feel comfortable sharing their pronouns at that moment or in that space. You know, they fear bullying or harassment after sharing. Yes. So, in the case that someone has left pronouns off their name tag, in the case that someone has left pronouns off their name tag or chosen not to share their pronouns, please refrain from using pronouns for that person and refer to the person by what is on their name tag. Okay, so what is misgendering? Misgendering refers to the experience of being labeled by others as a gender other than one that a person identifies with. Because many, not all, associate their pronouns with their gender identity, uh, using the wrong pronouns intentionally or intentionally is a form of misgendering. And this is where I am totally confused. So it is these fucking trannies who are misgendering. Uh, using the wrong pronoun intentionally is a form of misgendering. So they are misgendering. It is the trannies, you know, such as myself. I am a tranny, you know. Don't forget, I am a tranny. I am a lesbian who just happens to have a dick. So uh, it makes it a little confusing. So uh, I think I'm going to change from they, them to Z here. Okay, if you accidentally use the wrong pronoun when identifying someone, please p apologize or say thank you and immediately use the right pronoun. I.e., this is Alex. She is one of my science students. You are corrected because Alex uses they, them, theirs pronouns. So, you say, sorry, they are one of my science students, or thank you, they are one of my science students. Everyone makes mistakes. Please, take accountability for your mistake and continue using the correct pronoun. <clears throat> the important thing to be mindful of is not unload your guilty feelings, your guilty feelings on transgender 
non-binary and gender non-conforming people or expect forgiveness. Do not expect forgiveness from a militant tranny. They might have a strong reaction to the misuse of their pronouns and will need space to recenter themselves. Yes, give the little twenties space to recenter themselves. Let the little twenties you upset the little twenty by calling the little twenty the wrong pronoun. And so you you might get a strong reaction from the twenty. So give the tranny space to recenter themselves. So what about PGP? What about PGP? There has been a shift away from the term preferred gender pronoun or PGP to just using pronoun. This change was made because a person's pronouns are not just preferred. They are the pronouns that must be used. In the same sense as mentioned earlier, gender was removed because pronouns do not always reflect or indicate someone's gender, despite centuries in the English language. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Sincerely mix marvel. Pronouns they, them, theirs. Okay. Tips for practicing gender neutral language. Practice, practice, practice. Use gender-neutral pronouns such as they and z while visualizing the tranny who uses them. Yes, this is especially useful to do right before you're about to see the tranny. When addressing groups of people whose pronouns you have not been told, use gender-neutral language such as siblings third graders, students, friends, folks, all, or y'all, rather than brothers and sisters, or guys, ladies, ma'am, or sir. Yes. Okay. Share this resource with others in open conversations to make sure you as a tranny lesbian with a dick, are engaging in respecting people's identities and pronouns. Growing and learning takes time. Encourage, educate, engage. All right, so I'm heading back into my appointment. So I was here for my four o'clock appointment, but my doctor was not here. My doctor totally forgot the f or fucking appointment with me here at the free clinic. You get what you paid for. So uh, I had to go disappear for two hours so I could uh, finally get my fucking appointment for these goddamn ears. All right, I guess the second time I will try to get my ears fixed so I can hear what pronoun some tranny wants me to use. My God.